Mail call. I opened up a package a couple months ago from Chuck Mills, and this box was inside. And I teased you a little bit, saying I was going to open it in November, around the Marine Corps birthday. Well, it's that time. And this is what Chuck sent me. That little grain right there, it's a grain of sand from the beach at Iwo Jima. Pretty amazing. And this chunk of wood from Lieutenant Colonel Sean Carey is actually a piece of wood from Bella Wood in France. Bella Wood, for goodness sakes. Man. I've held on to this for a couple of years because it's like a piece of gold to me. But this year, this Marine Corps birthday, well, I'm going to do something with it. I'm going to do something simple because I just want to see that wood. And I just got this in the mail today. This is from Bob Heaton. I, I hope I'm saying your name correctly, Bob. Sent me a nice letter talking about how the pen is mightier than the sword. This is one mighty pen right here. Bob, thank you so much. This is going in my collection, and I'm going to cherish it along with a few others that uh, that some people have sent me over the years, including the two I'm about to make. That's designed with the red on either end of that uh, to signify the piping on the enlisted Marines dress blue uniform. What a nice touch. Beautiful pen. All right, we're getting to work on this chunk of wood that came from Bella Wood. I don't know what kind of wood it is, if anybody can help me with that. Uncle Mo, if you're out there. Uh, I kind of thought it was oak, but I don't know about that. Similar grain, but I think it might be something different. So you know, I'm keeping every piece that I cut off of this wood. That little end piece right there, I'm keeping it. The two pieces I cut on the bandsaw, I'm keeping them. It's all going to get used to the best of my ability. I'm not going to waste anything that, uh, well, within reason. I'm just going through the process of uh, making this wood into pen blanks. I made it square so that the uh, chuck there could hold it evenly, and now I'm drilling holes. I roughed up the, uh, the tube there with some 80 grit sandpaper, and that was medium CA glue. And I just run that into the inside, swirl it around a little bit, spread the glue out so it holds. Pretty simple process. I always cut them a little bit big and then I even them out. I don't use a barrel trimmer. This is how I do it. I just make sure that the, uh, the tray and all the parts there are perfectly square. It works out nicely. Just sand it down until the brass shines a little bit. Don't go too far though because You'll make them too short. So this chunk of wood from Bella Wood hollowed ground in the Marine Corps. I'm making it into a cigar pen and the kit is gunmetal. I thought that was appropriate. Should be a good contrast. And I'm using an oval skew chisel for the entire turn.
Oh yeah, I'm saving those two. There's a couple more pens out of that right there. Yep. Here's a little tip for you pen turners out there. If, if you are using the CA glue, you got to kind of sand it down when it's on that uh, mandrel. The CA glue, that is. And then uh, whatever excess is sticking off the end when you take it off, uh, twist it on the sandpaper. Don't move, your, uh, don't move it back and forth because you can make the end of it uneven. If you just twist it, It'll stay nice and square. Okay, the time has come to pick the winner of those uh, Slate Marine Corps coasters. The set of eight that uh, I showed you in the last video a couple days ago. I'm using the YouTube Random Comment Generator. There's the code uh, 247, which stands for the Marine Corps' 247th birthday. And the winner is Eric Fountain. Congratulations, Eric. I appreciate you watching all those videos, and I'm happy that you won. Contact me via email. You'll find that in the video description. Congrats, Eric. Okay, and now we move on to the Iwo Jima pen. This is so amazing. There's a better look at it. And this pen blank is already put together, so it's just a matter of getting, getting it uh, mounted on the pen mandrel and turning it down to size and then getting it polished up. Right. I appreciate you including all that equipment with it, uh, Chuck. It made it a heck of a lot easier. Very thoughtful of you. I just want to show you something real quick. The speed. 
is set at oh yeah Sorry about the bumpy ride there, folks. You see, back in 1775, my Marine Corps came alive. Fifteen hundred. Eighteen hundred. Twenty four hundred. Thirty two hundred. Thirty six hundred. Four thousand. Six thousand. Eight thousand. Twelve thousand grit. This antique brass for this pen kit is such a great choice. I've had a couple others of these sent to me in the past, already completed, and I love those just as much. It was a real pleasure to be able to turn one. And I really appreciate it, Chuck. And Sean, what an absolute honor to turn a piece of wood from Bella Wood. Bob, I appreciate the thought you put into the design of this pen. Thank you so much. I will treasure it. And to all the Marines out there, the many that I know and the many that I don't, all brothers and sisters, happy birthday. 247 years. We're all represented here. Until next time, God bless and Semper Fi.